You're about to do something crazy today. It came. Namnit was so tense that the bus wouldn't come. It's 5:30 now, and it finally came. You can finally see him smiling, and he's carrying almost 20 kgs of weight. It's 6 a.m. now and we are just pulling out of the bus stop and I believe it's an 8 hour drive all the way to Atampur and that's the last city I think after which we reach the border. We are in the last row of the bus so it's going to probably toss us around a little bit but the interesting thing is the bus we are on is we expected like a Toyota Hiace or something like a small minivan but it's actually pretty spacious like as you can see even the legroom is pretty decent and uh, I mean it's morning and the traffic signals are already working there is a bit of traffic on the streets so yeah all in the bus looks pretty colorful also because it's pink in color and uh, the, the bus company is also called paradise so it's funny Anyways, we are going to keep telling you a lot about this journey as we progress. And now at a rest stop and we've been driving for about three hours so it's nearly nine and there's a lot of small stalls here they're selling fruits and some fried snacks very tempted to get the snacks shish has just gone to freshen up And the weather is actually pretty good here because it's at a high altitude so it's all very dry and cool. We just picked up some snacks and this is our new friend Armando. Hello. He's from Timor Leste and we just met him here on the bus. He got some crispy corn and banana chips. Nothing much good. Potatoes, and then we got an eggplant, and then we got some ball and rice. So, the way it works is so at the buffet, you can select whatever you want, put it on your plate, and bring it to your table. And then the waiter is going to come and give you a slip. And that will be like basically how much your bill is. Once you take it to the cashier, you'll know much the amount this. And uh, we also got some juice on the side. And it's actually pretty decent. This food is apparently from um, the Sumatra region and that's recognized by the word Padang on the board. So Armando here was telling us that this food is coming from all the way across Indonesia. It's like from the western corner of the country. So it's so interesting.
We are now in Atambua and Atambua is only one hour away from the border. We are now at the land border. Okay, this is called Motin. We just got off the bus. This is the Indonesian side of the land border and we are walking to the immigration counter now. Bye bye Indonesia. We just got stamped out of the Indonesian side. It now nearly took 10 minutes for the immigration officer to clear us. He was asking for a lot of questions and a few documents. We gave them all and now we're heading to a new country. Right now we're in no man's land. Yes. Oh. Sotam Bata bag. Section. Now this is no man's land. And now we're walking to the Timor Leste side. It looks like it's a 100 or a 150 meter walk from here. We can see the ocean right there. And it's so cloudy. Let's just walk fast before it rains again. And we've just made it into country number 21. More or less day. Almost one hour. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We are the last car. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Hi, Armando. Yeah. <laughs> Back on the bus. And we are the last one. <laughs> this is a different one, and not the same bus as we were on. And this one will take us from the border to Delhi. A lot happened inside, and we will give you an update next week. Yes. Hi, Armando. Hi, Armando. Hi, Armando. Hi, Armando. Hi, Is the dog tied? Yeah. yeah. I'm Shashira. She's scared yeah, of dogs. Scared of it. It's tied. Yeah. <laughs> so we've just arrived at our home stay and the host is taking us to yeah. our room. This is called N and our home stay. It's the only one we found yeah. on booking Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is our room. You'd think that you you think that we would get just one single room, but for this price, we've got an entire house. There's a big bedroom here. With AC. Yeah, there's AC too. I know they let us use it. And there's a dining table right here with a big window. We've just closed it for now. <laughs> and then there's a fridge. We have a small kitchen. It has a gas stove and some utensils. Wow. And we even have a small equipped. refrigerator. Maybe we can cook some Maggi noodles or something. Maybe okay. not Maggi, just noodles. Where will you get it? From? Oh, we have kettle. Cool. There's a rice cooker also. Wow. And then there is a bathroom with hot water. Oh yeah, hot water. Cool. Cool. Well, of course, we are paying $20. Yeah, so it's pretty expensive here in Timor-Leste. 
and this is the cheapest room we found online so tomorrow we're gonna go into town and look for something cheaper if you find something then we'll probably move there if we're able to find a better deal here then we might just stay here so we are stepping out to a supermarket to buy some food and maybe check on some internet packages. Our host Sita was so kind enough, she lent her her scooter and she told she go buy something to eat now. We have just come out to a supermarket to buy some food for dinner. Apparently all the restaurants here close off by 7, 7.30 in the night and it's already 8 o'clock now. Our host Sita was kind enough, she she uh, she told we can borrow her scooter just to go over to the supermarket and come back. Which is so nice because we thought we'll have to pay like a lot of dollars for it but she said no, no, quickly go get something for yourselves, water, food etc. So, so let's go to that. the supermarket and see what's there. We went to that supermarket and got lots of snacks and we'll show that to you once we go to the room. So Timor Leste actually offers visa on arrival for most nationalities. When we learned about this, we obviously considered taking that same option instead of the traditional sticker visa that you can also apply for at any Timor Leste consulate or embassy. However, when we went online and checked the official website of the Timor Leste Immigration Department, we learned that for any visa on arrival, a particular letter is required from the consulate and therefore we went to the one in Bali. There we learned that this letter is actually a visa authorization approval letter which is issued by the consulate to us as potential visa on arrival applicants and the requirements for that were pretty straightforward or at least initially that's what we thought. Uh, we had to give round trip flight tickets or if we were going to take the land border option then accordingly whatever tickets are required. Uh, hotel reservations for our duration of stay, proof of funding and also a police verification letter. Now the other requirements seem similar to any other visa application you know, process but the police verification thing caught us off a little bit because generally for tourist visas that's not really asked for. However, to comply with that request we did visit the Indian consulate which was also in the same neighborhood in Denpasar and then applied for one of those. Since it was going to take a very long time, uh, we went back to the uh, Timor Leste consulate at least like three or four times trying to uh, clarify to them that this is what the time frame is and we have a much shorter time frame on our uh, soon to expire Indonesia tourist visas. So the officer decided to interview us and based on the verification of our travel history and just you know based on the conversation we had, uh, he said that he could issue that uh, letter for us without this additional document. However, he did insist that we have flight tickets booked before he gives us this letter. So we had to book our flight ticket from Denpasar, Bali to Kupang. And then he said, it's okay, you can book your bus tickets later on because these bus tickets to go to Delhi or to Timor Leste are issued in Kupang, like at the bus office, which you saw in our previous video. Based on this, we ended up booking a very expensive flight ticket. Uh, but later on, we learned that it would have been much easier to just take a ferry from Bali to uh, you know, Timor, uh, the island of Timor and maybe even from Kupang we would have continued by bus but this would have been the cheapest method. Uh, however, it would have taken three days as against the two, three hours that we took flying across. <laughs> this flight also ended up skewing our entire budget which we had for this nine months in Southeast Asia by a significant percentage. So the reason why I told you about the flight ticket and the pricing of the ferry etc is because you know that we do budget travel, right? So we want to take the cheapest option there is. However, for the visa to be issued, he said that this is the best way to do it. And once we did it, he began to ask us for a service fee. Now, this letter, as we understand, is issued fee of charge and you only have to pay a stamping fee at the border. However, we now that we had booked our flight ticket already and it was non-cancellable, we had to pay the additional service fee at, for the consular service here. And then that cost us another $60 for the both of us. Anyway, once that happened, we put that behind us. Now we had our uh, visa authorization letter and our flights booked. So we headed towards Kupang. So once we entered the uh, immigration office, the officer only asked for $30, which was the standard visa fee and our passports. And he asked us to fill a form, which we did. And they did not even ask us a single question, let alone ask for this document. The stamping officer then asked us how long we were going to stay in Timor Leste. And when we told him how long we're staying, 
he just stamped a stroke and that was it. So based on that, we ended up entering Timor Leste with a tourist visa for 30 days without having to provide any additional document, which means that we were treated just like any other European nationality or American nationality who are equally eligible for this visa on arrival option. However, we did not want to create any complications for ourselves. This is the sole reason why, and even in this video we've explained, taking this letter is quite important. So do your research, go on to their official website, contact them on Facebook if you need, because they have an official channel right there, and talk to them and understand if this document is required for your nationality. And it shouldn't become a situation where you arrive in Kupang, ready to board, get onto the bus, go there, and then you realize at the border that you'll be turned back instantly. So this is what happened with our Timor Leste visa. Follow one, two, three, start, take one and only one, two, three, start. Oh, see, Shira is being a link in the background. Come on, Ami.